on the 2015 Ford Mustang, um, being a world-class sports car, it was very important to us from the very beginning to create this perfect balance between design and aerodynamics. And we worked very closely with our engineering team to get the perfect shape. Then we spent countless hours in the aero tunnel. We had our clay models in here and really shaping it millimeters up and down and basically get the perfect balance. The vehicle in itself is a much more muscular design than the outgoing uh, product, but we've able to also improve the aerodynamic forces on it by 3%. So we've, we've reduced the overall drag on the vehicle while still making a new, uh, very, uh, very beautiful looking car, very sleek car. And so that's pretty exciting for us uh, to get that uh, teamwork together to deliver a sleek design that is also beautiful. So as you look at the shark nose of this vehicle, it's very forward facing, which will trip the flow of the air as it goes across the car. What we've been able to do, working with the studio, is we've been able to bring down the hood. So as it trips over that shark nose, it quickly reattaches to the hood of the vehicle, thus minimizing the impact of that design feature and improving the overall aerodynamics of the new Mustang versus the outgoing. As the air goes into the engine bay, you need air to basically make the uh, cooling package breathe and, and reduce the heat. So what, once you put it into the engine bay, you want to have an ability to get the pressure down because as you build the pressure in the engine bay, it would then create lift in the vehicle. So what the hoods, hood vents are for is to release that pressure, um, basically like cracking the top of a can, right? So you crack the top of the can, it's going to let that pressure out. And we developed a front wheel arrow curtain design. What that does is you'll see it takes the air from the front of the vehicle and then quickly accelerates it over the wheel. That actually takes the whole wake structure from that tire cavity and pushes it into the side of the vehicle. And that reduces the overall drag forces required for the vehicle to go down the road, which of course improves fuel economy. A lot of features uh, account for the wind noise in, in the vehicle, right? One main thing that we've learned over the years of development is your mirror construction. What we've done is we've carried forward those learnings in what's called a door-mounted mirror. When you go to a door-mounted mirror, you move the vortex or wake or the turbulence that's created by the mirror away from the side glass. And that gives you a tremendous improvement because you're not getting that turbulent beating on the glass, which then creates noise as wind noise or, or buffeting. So what's important uh, as we talk about driving at high speeds, uh, you know, speeds in excess of 120 miles an hour, um, what you want to do is you want to make sure the aero contribution is, is consistent and stable um, as it develops at those speeds. So what's going on at those speeds is the forces on the front of the vehicle will cause it to come up. So what you're trying to do is guarantee that you still have force from the aerodynamic loads pushing down on it. So we use, use stuff like splitters as, as the term. So those are the features of the car that actually protrude forward just at the bottom and those basically develop pressure to push the car back down as speeds increase. We spent a lot of time customizing the underbody shield development for the particular application of the powertrain and its VMAX capabilities. The Mustang is very unique in that it has three different underbelly valence air dam combinations. The one I'm holding up here is uh, for the, the V8. It's shaped like a C. It has a dual shot uh, air dam and this is for improved front lift and lift balance. You can see the other profile here. That one would be for the 2.3 liter I4 EcoBoost engine and that's for uh, lower CD and improved fuel economy. And the third version that we have, this is for the performance pack vehicle and it doesn't have an air dam. Instead it has brake channels and this is for improved brake cooling because it channels the air up to the brakes and also high speed uh, front lift and lift balance improvement. And then as we go to the back of the car, what's always important is to keep the rear planted, rear stable. So a lot of time and attention spent to how the air comes off the back of the back glass and then over the deck lid. So you'll see in the deck lid of the Mustang, there's a, there is a character line and uh, that character line is basically developing that force, that aerodynamic pressure to basically push down on the entire vehicle as you go up in these speeds, 120, 130, to basically keep it planted uh, to keep the powertrain able to push torque to the ground. And that's the important thing as we talk about uh, 
high speed characteristics of a vehicle for aerodynamics.